What's up, mob gang? And today, um, I'm, I've got the privilege of cleaning my one of my favourite Martian rovers, Perseverance. Now, I'm a big fan of like um, Perseverance because it's one of like the most coolest, like robotic rovers on the martian surface it is one of the coolest things ever i know not everybody's a big space fan but like for someone like me who's a big 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 space fan it is a big deal for me i love it to bits it's one of my favorite things to like you know go through so today i'm just gonna play this and I do apologize if I do seem a bit tired. Um, I have had a bit of a busy day. The lads and I are actually planning to do a live stream at some point. So that's what we're doing. So we're hoping to, um, to do that. But yeah. So that's a good start. God, look at this. I'm just in utter, utter awe. I need to get my brother on this. My brother will absolutely love this game. Don't know about Harry though, but he eh, could be interested. You know, when I first saw this game, I was a bit like, mm, I'm not sure if I want to play it or anything like that. But this is actually really satisfying. It's going to sound weird, but... Like, I've never liked cleaning much, like, personally. But, like, it does... It does look really cool. Look, this game is really, really fucking unique. On the solar panels, I think this is the, yeah. That's the one that that sensors like detects the Martian wind. So like basically that one there, um, not here. This bit here basically mo monitors uh, the Martian wind. So that's how they know um, the weather ma patterns on Mars. Because there is weather back on Mars. Like there is actually weather patterns. This weather pattern is very vastly unique to any of the whoa I just jumped um, to any of the Martian landscapes anybody has ever seen it's quite interesting actually I mean not everybody is a big fan of it but if anybody's a big big fan like I am um, yeah comment down below I was just telling the lads about it earlier when we first started playing this game I mean, I've only just started playing it today, and thanks to Owen who brought this up, uh, we can play it. We were quite lucky to actually get it, because um, since we're on PlayStation, we can actually play it on um, PlayStation Plus. So for those who actually haven't got a PlayStation, it's basically uh, PlayStation Plus is basically you can play games like for free. I think for a certain amount of time, I'm not sure. But basically, it's like, basically, um, you can, like, revisit these games anytime, basically. And uh, you can just, like, every new game has, like, a, oh, has a bit of a, like, a um, bit of a change around every so often. I know, I'm just talking shit, but what do you expect? It's a good game. I know I'm talking shit. So everything on Perseverance is not for show. This is literally what they have on the Perseverance 
Mars and Rover. That is actually a thing. So, like, everything is not for show. It is legit how they would make, like, detections and things like that. So, this here is the drill. Doesn't look much, but that's... But, like, that is generally the drill. And over there, that is the Martian helicopter. Um, the Martian landscapes um, that have the... Um, basically, the um, the wind, the gravity, and things like that. The gravity is actually 20%. I think it's, like, less... I think it's more than that. Uh, like, less... More potent than ours. So, like, basically... We could jump higher than the average human, but apparently, if you jump in um, in like on the Martian planet, um, it actually messes with the human body. I didn't know this. I I, I read this up uh, a little while ago, and apparently, uh, it was um, mentioned by NASA uh, scientists, and it was announced by the NASA administration and the the people who. Uh, run behind it uh, actually said that it does actually affect the human body and it can actually uh, basically slow pe slowly kill people because of how um, dense the human um, the human body is compared to the Martian landscape so if we were going to do it we can't jump as much because apparently it damages the human body it's strange but it's clever it's amazing So basically, in other words, um, if we were like going to age on Mars, I think it's like because Mars is at, like um, years are like very very closely simulated um, to uh, apparently to the um, to the Earth's. So basically, the Earth like runs I think it's like 365 days a year. Um, Mar uh, Mars, on the other hand, actually runs I think it's like if I'm correct. Um, basically runs up to about things like I know it's hundred I know it's three hundred and sixty five days but it's, I think it's about three hundred and sixty four fish sixty five I think or sixty six I might no I think it's sixty four but basically I'm not I'm not even joking if anybody is like interested look it up and you will actually see it it does actually stay um, online that is actually officially that reason it's I'm not even kidding but right now my the Mars rover is actually right over there and he's actually is uh, traveling uh, in, in a certain location there is actually names for these locations that are actually these rovers are in and I believe there's over 20 um, rovers from different eras like from different year like different decades because uh, I know there's a few Soviet ones that are dead. I know that for a fact. And there's one that is actually alive. I know there is... Um, I know, not the Soviet one. The, I know the Soviet ones are dead. I know that for a fact. But basically... Um, Mars has a reputation, actually, for killing um, rovers and technology. I like it actually kills the um like the robots hard to believe it it actually kills it uh, apparently it it's uh, quite a bad one actually it's got a really bad reputation like um it kills practically hundreds of bots um like every time they um they send one up um the reason being is because uh, the landscape is basically inhospitable, inhospitable, which means that. So basically, in other words, for kids, uh, if anybody's chilled like a child or anything like that, look along, young boy or girl. Uh, basically, in other words, um, we can't live on the planet because there was no trees, there was no grass, there was basically no nothing for us to survive on, like for us to live. So if we were like ever going to, you know, going to live on Mars, we'd have to make 
a thing called a colony. So basically what that means is we'd have to live on a human-made colony um, in the far future. And they hope to send a man or woman on the, the, like the Martian surface. And that's exactly what they're planning to do. It's quite fun. Like, uh, they actually want to do it. And I've, um, I've actually seen, uh, in case anybody isn't from um, the United Kingdom, uh, basically, I've been to the one in Leeds, which is basically uh, based in uh, the United Kingdom, uh, which is, I think, about an hour or two away, if I'm not mistaken. But basically, it is uh, pretty cool. Like, uh, I've made a few videos on it on the uh, Animal Vlogging channel, and... Um, it had a quite a good reaction from a lot of people actually, like so, like space enthusiasts. I've actually seen like um, the actual rocket, uh, like a few rockets from um, from like the early Apollo days. So I know that for a fact. So I was pretty happy about that. Yeah, so like I say, none of this equipment in uh, on the Martian rover is for show. None of it is um, because it is based. Some of it is basically government, um, like government um, based, like um, operations. But also, it is designed for that. Oh yeah, there's one. Yeah, that's the antenna, isn't it? Is that the um? Is that the bit for like the wind or something? I might be wrong. I might be mistaken. I might be mistaken. It's just an alien gnome, for goodness sake. Look at that. I don't understand why there's just like this alien like footprints and it's just like looking around this big friggin rover or something like that. It's just it just weirds me out. But I don't know. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Mar the Martian rover doesn't actually have, like, like it, it it is basically a size of a car. Um, so that's the main thing. And so that there is the actual light that actually is on it. So not the light. That is the actual uh, camera that they use here, um, which is that big blob thing, uh, which actually helps them detect it, like movement. And they take like thousands of photos of images per second. Then you've got, I think, if I'm rightly saying, I think there's there's a few more cameras on here. I know there's quite a few cameras, and I know this bit here, it's a drill, and I know at the back of here 
is also one of the bits, I think, if I'm correct, I might be wrong, but this bit here is a l small little laboratory, like, sorry, I know it sounds like toilet, but it's a laboratory in here that process all the information of, like, basically the soil it's been collected. And I know that there's a few bits about the rover, and I don't think there's a few bits around here and here. I know there is a few places like this here that are designed for, like, um, for certain purposes, but I just don't remember. It's been a while since I've actually looked into it. I think that's one of the... If I'm right, this bit here is, um, that might, yeah, that looks like a wind, um, that looks like a wet wind measurement. And that bit there, I think it just, I think it measures the winds. So I think it, like, I think that smells, I think that, I think that one there, I think this one here might be the one that smells. And then this one's the one that, um, that detects the wind. Because every planet smells i know it's gonna sound weird but our planet smells our planet and your planet like anywhere where anywhere in our world or anywhere smells but it's not like a bad smell if that makes sense so basically what it means is um it basically means that it can smell basically um things like this bit here basically it's I think if I'm right, because I know they detected, um, I know they actually found out that there was, um, like, there's some, um, oxygen, but only a very small amount, and nitrogen, I think there was nitrogen or helium or something, I know there's a mixture of air we breathe in the, um, in the Earth's atmosphere, I know we, I know that for a fact because that's that because that's how we we know. And then um, there's quite a few, a few bits that help it um, to like um, to help it um, basically to detect these elements. This here isn't actually for show. That there, I know it looks like a clamp, but that's actually to help it go over um, quite large rocks. So that so basically it goes for like things like this, like these big boulder like things, and I'm not even joking. It, it, it's gone over these big mountainous areas like this. It's huge, like these. It's gone over this. It's gone over these big hills. I know it's over like a big location. I know it's. I know it is. I know it is actually. Um, it's in a certain location. Um, at the moment, but I just, I know Perseverance is like, in the three years it's been on at the moment, it's basically, um, it's moved to like, um, another lo location where it's in. I know it's in, um, it was in a basin at one stage, and I know it was, no, if I'm right, oh, no, actually I just remembered. I know it was actually, it landed inside a crate, like a massive crater, like asteroid crater, a massive one. I know it landed in there. In fact, this whole landscape is this a massive, uh, it, this is not the game, this is not actually the, the, um, I mean, it could be, but basically, um, in other words, Perseverance was basically, like it basically self landed itself so this computer found a, like a properly good place to land even though its destination was in this big crater i can't remember what the crater is called because they've basically mapped everywhere on mars everywhere they've even mapped the olympus mons which is basically the biggest fuck off mountain in the entire world of Mars is it it's a massive volcanic mountain and it's it's not active anymore but it's basically so big it's like literally it's like literally bigger than the height of um 
the height of Mount Everest. In fact, seven billion times bigger. It is so big. If anybody like doesn't know what I'm talking about, look up Olympus Mons. I am not joking. They named it. I think it's called. I think if I'm right, Olympus Mons. I think it stands for big, giant mountain or big mountain or something. In La- I think I might be wrong. Quote me if I'm wrong, but look it up because it is absolutely fascinating. But yeah, everything on Perseverance has a really good reason why they're doing it. I know there's there's a really good reason why they have these big like I know these bits here are there for a good bloody reason why they're here. I don't remember, but I know there's a few good re- few reasons. But basically, um, if this per- if this rover was not transmitting any information because this rover would not be transmitting anything back to the Earth without this incredible satellite that is actually uh, that is overhead uh, the planet and it's called um, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter or the basically in other words the Mars Martian or the Mars uh, Recon or like Orbiter which is basically a satellite that is basically uh, basically orbiting around Mars. And Mars has two moons called Deimos and Phobos. And it's a bit it is absolutely amazing. This little guy over here, by the way, is the coolest little contraption. This little guy normally can't actually fly this well. This this here can't actually fly as well as the, the in the one in, in real life. This one actually can only fly to a certain amount of height. See this, this is Mars's first ever helicopter, first ever, human made, and it has been designed, obviously by people at NASA. Um, and there's a thing called JPL, which is basically Jet Propulsion Laboratory. This is basically, in other words, the laboratories basically, um, basically design things like this. And that is where Perseverance is from. And they have full control of everything. The, per- the rover and this beautiful helicopter. I know it's called the Martian helicopter. Or I, know it, it, I know it is. But also this little guy here. This little helicopter here actually came. I know it. it I know this is, this is a fact. I know it start like... I know it was around here. It, it started like starting its life. It is. It's alive. Like it's still moving. Um, it's done a fair few flights already, and it's taken a fair few beautiful images actually of like the landscape. So like, it. There's a lot of reasons why it has like two propellers. On that in that location is because. Um, the Martian landscape is so harsh. There's no wind. Well, there is wind, but no, like, like, not the wind we know of. There is actually massive planet-wide uh, sandstorms that are actually enough to overwhelm the entire continents of the planet. It is it's extremely hostile. So there's a lot of reason why this is fascinating. There is this bit here. I think I'm, if I'm right, this might be like one of the bits where like it shoots up a um, like a little payload, and I think it shoots it straight into the atmosphere. But I might be wrong. There is. Oh, that's one of the cameras here. That's one of its cameras. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there is actually cameras everywhere on this rover. That's the main cameras there. That one there is the main camera. And I think that one here, the the other four here, are the landscape rovers, like help it drive. All this is driven by AI. And I know there's a few times that the people have drove, driven this, but I know it is actually it is an AI-driven machine. But they probably might have changed it over the years. I might be not 100% sure. But I know something happened to keep it you know, to keep it 
the way it is. But it is absolutely fascinating. There's no water on Mars, if anybody asks. No water. There is ice. There is water ice on uh, Mars. Uh, but it's very far down in the rocks. Uh, so basically, Mars gets extremely cold. Um, I think it's like up... I think one time it was like up to like 200 minus Celsius, something like that, or degrees Celsius, something like that. It's quite cold. Uh, it's colder than like, it's colder than the Arctic, I believe. Um, it's basically a barren, lifeless rock. But there is actually weather patterns on Mars. And there is, there's literally only, there's an explanation why. Because they say if there is no weather patterns being used, the core wouldn't be alive. There is an active core on this planet. And they think this active core died. I think there's an active I think there's actually an active core, just not as active as it used to. Because think about it. I know there's not a lot of atmosphere on Mars. It is lost 90% of it. It's quite weak. That's why Mars looks like this. And also, there is a reason why Mars has a hellish landscape. Uh, basically, that mean, it, basically, it means that um, the reason why it's like the way it is is because um, of uh, the metals. I believe there's a, met there's a certain amount of metals, I know, and I know it's a very poisonous, like gas and I and they they realized it was a metallic in nature don't ask me how but they've discovered it was actually like the atmosphere is so toxic it's got like it's got like things like nine I think it's like 80 I think it's like 60 to 70 percent of its um like uh carbon dioxide that's how you know there is something out there. There is carbon... I think, it's, there's, I think there's a thing called carbon monoxide. Yeah, there is a carbon monoxide. That is also a poisonous gas. Um, but carbon is basically us. So there's clearly... There was clearly something here. And that's why the... That is why... This here... Is drilling into rocks like these and the ground surface. They want to find out if there is water and they have discovered water. Not flowing, but literally things. And I think, if I'm rightly saying, I believe they found frozen bacteria on Mars. I believe, I don't know if it's 100% sure, but I believe that is actually the case. So I know. They know they found something. They are trying to find like obviously living animals and living stuff, but that but there's a lot of conspiracy theorists that think that there is actually living animals on this thing. There is no way an alien, like a like an an alien species, will be able to live on a planet without even having a spacesuit. There is no physical way and. I know there's there's no going to be... I know there's, there's a chance that, it, that in the future, these aliens are going to like look at it and go, he's got a point. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, it's a true fact. There is no way aliens will have the ability to... I'm just spraying this, by the way, um, because it's satisfying. But basically, there is no way to practically have an alien... Have a like no spacesuit walking around barefooted like this walking around the Martian landscape. There, there is toxic gas in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is a toxic gas, and I think carbon monoxide as well. I know they found me metallic gas in the atmosphere as well. And I think it was because of the uh, the volcanoes. I might be wrong, but I know that there is no, uh, there is actually no 
continents. Legit. Not even kidding. There's actually no continents. The north side of the planet is was originally supposed to be completely flowing water. In the middle and the lower part of the planet is completely land. And they had a massive thing called the... Um, a marina valis which basically means uh basically it's a marina valley so basically what that means is this valley was it's bigger than the largest uh valley in the entire american states i know this one is i, know, I can't remember this one's called in america but basically this one is basically half a, it's basically this one that i'm talking about from mars is basically the size of the Martian continent. Like, sorry, the United States continent. I am not joking. This this Marina Vallis is that wide. It is literally stretching to that size. And Mars is half of the heart, the size of of Mars, or basically of Earth. I am not kidding. It is ginormous marina valises and it's quite a big like it's a big like obviously it's a big planet but it's not as big as some i believe that europa is literally it's it's diddy to the martian planet mars is half like basically it's half the size of mars of earth basically it's quite small but it's got some fighting talk. And people are out there saying there's a chance we can revive it. And that's what I hope to see. Anyway, I've been yapping about this for over a, nearly an hour. So I'm going to leave you guys to it. But I hope this was a fascinating video. And if you want to like look up uh, some videos about Mars rovers, feel free to look online. But also, if you want to, like, ask me some questions about Mars, I'll happily try and find some information for you. I might not be a, be the perfect person to find any, but I'm just going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm a space enthusiast, and I fucking love space. So I just want to let you guys know I love it, and I just want to help with anybody who is a space enthusiast. If you're not a space enthusiast, that is fine. Not a problem. There is no issue to that. I totally understand. But anyway, I'm going to leave you to it. And I hope you guys have a nice evening. And I'll see you all morning, wherever you are. I'll see you in the next video soon. Or live stream. We're hoping to do a live stream of this soon. See you soon. And happy new fucking year.